There's something about rattlesnakes. This is not gonna work. That's better. This is rattlesnake. Yeah. This is a rattlesnake that has been skinned, cleaned, and cut into two pieces. Belly and back. I thought I'd cook one this way. Instead of tossing it in the oven, all hissing and rattling. There are many kinds of rattlesnakes. One lives where I do in the American Midwest, although I've never seen one in the wild. While rattlesnake poison is pretty potent stuff, destroying tissue and organs and interfering with blood clotting of 8,000 or so people who are bitten by rattlesnakes in the U.S. every year, only about five die. It should not be suggested, however, that rattlesnakes are not deadly. They are. Fortunately, I've also heard that they are delicious. I have both halves of the rattlesnake arranged on this baking tray. There's not a lot of fat in rattlesnakes, so I'm going to drizzle it with olive oil. It will need to be salted. And then it goes in the oven. Rattlesnakes are usually deep fried, but I'm gonna try it oven fried like a chicken. And now we play the waiting game. Time to take it out. I don't know about you, but this looks incredibly creepy. People who eat rattlesnake don't usually eat it like this. Spine and ribs intact. It makes it a lot harder. It's way hard for me to figure out how to eat this. I give up on this overwork. I'm not sure this is actually bad manners when you're eating the snake. It looks creepy, but it doesn't taste creepy. It has sort of a chicken taste to it. Rattlesnake is pretty plain. It's, it's pretty good as long as you don't mind giving me your bones. Very, very chewy. This is very reminiscent of alligator. This is going to take me a while.